up guys it's your girl morgan sinclair back again for another video so i've been on youtube for roughly a month and i wanted to do a just review video on my cameras so um i started youtube a month ago like i said and um, I was using my phone at the time to record my videos. And at the time, my phone quality was kind of poor. So I wanted to, you know, just spruce up my videos and give that quality because I do like makeup tutorials and, you know, all that beauty lifestyle tutorials. So I wanted to just like make sure that, you know, my quality in my videos were great. So I told myself on my next paycheck, I'm going to buy a camera. And that's what I did. So my first camera I bought was this, which is the Canon PowerShot um, SX530. Um, and it's a really good camera. Um, but I really wanted to tell you guys how me being a vlogger and how these two cameras differ. So with this camera, the um, PowerShot, Canon PowerShot, I bought it it was um, pretty good I got a lot of accessories with it but the first thing that I noticed was it didn't have a flip screen and for me um, looking at myself in the camera when I'm doing my makeup tutorials and my beauty tutorials was kind of essential because I started that way on my phone so that was one of the downsides also I've noticed that the video was so so like detail you could see every detail in my face and every pore and i look like i had like real deal like like pimples like you could see my scar and it was just like hard for me also like with the flip screen not having the flip screen i was like out of frame a lot like i don't know why i was out of frame a lot but you couldn't like see me at all in the frame in the shot and i didn't even know it and sometimes i know i did like a tutorial where like i did like two faces in one day and by the time i got up and did like the two faces it had shutoffs and the battery died so i was done doing the tutorial but it didn't catch all of it because i couldn't see when it died so that was another thing that wasn't for me um for me, I feel like this is a great camera for like outside shots. Like if you're trying to become a photographer and you want to get a lot of like moving shots or point and shoot shots, this is the camera for you. But for me, I do a lot of vlogging and um, I kind of need to see myself for all the videos. So it's mostly videos for me. So uh, I think the bright side to this camera was it has Wi-Fi. Um, so I could just pop like my videos or my pictures to my phone. Um, what else? Like um, the battery life is really good. Really love that. And you know, it wasn't a bad camera. It just wasn't for me since I am a vlogger and not a photographer. But I did get some great shots on this. And yeah, I'm gonna keep those shots. So. Yeah, but I think for me, I trusted um, like my friends and asked them, you know, how, you know, how would I go about using this camera? Do you think this camera is a good fit for me? And they were like, yeah, you know, it's going to be a really good camera because Canon's a really good brand and, you know, they make really good cameras. And for the price that I got it for, they were like, you would not find a camera better, you know, which is fine. Um, but I just noticed that trying to vlog and turn it this way you know us vloggers turn it this way was like hard because i couldn't see here um i didn't know i was just hoping that i was focused in the frame um hoping that it wasn't focusing on something behind me you know all of those things so yeah if i have to recommend this camera i recommend it for the person who wants to be a photographer Okay, now on to my Canon EOS 
M100. It is a mirrorless camera and it's lightweight. You know, both of my cameras are lightweight, but this one is kind of lightweight. I can just take off the lens and stick it in my bag, and which I like that. Um, also, my favorite thing about it is the flip screen. It has a flip screen. And um, now that I can turn and see myself, I think that's way better. Um, I think the downside to it is it's like um, I have to take the lens off to be able to store it. Taking the lens off for me, it's kind of hard. I'm still trying to learn this camera, but I've done a tutorial before with this camera and it was like perfect. The video quality on both of the cameras are good, but this one, it smooths your face a little bit so you don't see like my scar you know i don't have to edit that out or um you know you don't see every pore in my skin which is really good for beauty disorders because you want to see that flawlessness in your makeup um i think another downside to this camera was like for the money that i spent on this one it was double for this one and the accessories um so that was for me a bummer but you live and you learn and for me this time I did my research instead of asking people what would be better for me I went out and YouTubed duh I YouTubed duh okay so I went out and YouTubed um, I googled I tried to figure out what are these vloggers using and they were using mirrorless cameras um if you're like me and you're a vlogger on a budget to me this is the cheapest camera um out there with the accessories and if you want to know where these cameras come from and how much they cost i will definitely link it below um yeah so i know i'm, I'm saying a lot of yes and whatever but but i think this camera is the best for me just because of the flip screen, the buttons, I was able to like, when I turn it around and use it, I see the buttons are in front. I don't know if you can see that, but the buttons are in front. And you know, I really like that. Um, I'm able to zoom using like moving the lens and stuff, which is really cool. Um, which on this one, I have to move this little button right here to zoom. Um, let's see yeah they both have wipe I I um, can like pin it I think for me when I first got this camera I was trying to figure out how to open it and like the funny thing is you have to like lift this up and then open this part to put the SD card in so the SD card is over this way right here but the battery is down here so i thought that was weird so all in all i do recommend this one for vloggers the mirrorless camera any mirrorless camera but if you're like me and you're on a budget this is the cheapest one out there right now and if you are okay with not having a flip screen or um not being able to see yourself and just wondering if you're in focus if you're good like that I say get the power shot and with the accessories. I mean, this was a really good camera. I can't knock it. It just wasn't efficient enough for me. This is my review of my cameras. Guys, let me know what kind of camera you have and why you have it, what you do below in the comment section. And um, yeah, I'm gonna go let me some more tutorials. See you guys later. Peace.